Hey there, this is James the Mutant Pixel Darknell, and I'm just sitting here on a rainy Saturday morning in California, and I'm working away on my model, and I'm using Mesh Fusion a lot. And try as I might, I was not able to get Mesh Fusion to smooth out these edges. The corner radius was just too tight for it to be able to resolve this edge inside of here. So I end up with these overlapping polygons, and so I just decided I was going to fix them manually. So I converted this to a mesh and started fixing them so I could do my texturing work on the object. Uh, and then I remembered that Mario Baldi had released a tool, uh, Edge Flow, that was supposed to make uh, quick work of doing these sort of uh, repairs. So I downloaded it and installed it, and within a couple minutes I had it running. And I'm super impressed and really happy with the quality of this tool. So I thought I would demonstrate it in action here. So I've got my mesh fusion corner here on my converted mesh, and uh, I make my edge selection. So I'm just selecting all of these edges that represent this corner here. And then you go into your edge toolbox when the edge flow tool is installed, and you click on edge flow. And I can just start clicking here, and instantly I start really getting this nice flow. I'm gonna kind of drop those and then apply it again, smooth that out just a little bit more. And then I get this really nice corner now that doesn't have any overlapping polygons. And I can delete these guys out. And then I'm just going to go through. I'm going to delete these guys as well. Don't want any overlapping polygons. Select the loop, P to create a polygon. And then I'm just going to hit T to triple that. And... Uh, this is all going to be hidden in the final model, so it's really not uh, important for it to be clean. Uh, but then we're only left here really with this artifact, and this artifact can actually be repaired really easily as well. So if you just go into vertex mode here and select the offending vertex, what happened is the vertex normal map that Mesh Fusion applies to this when you convert it over. This polygon was inside out facing backwards. So now that we've smoothed it out with Mario's tool, the normal on this one is still facing the wrong direction. So we're just going to fix that really quick by selecting our normal map in the lists viewport. And we're going to get our rotate tool. Uh, and you can see this little purple line in here represents the normal. It's facing the wrong direction. So we want to get in here to our normal and make sure we set that to edit. And then now we're just going to rotate that. And we want to make sure that our normal here is pointing outward in the direction that we want our normal to be facing. And there, we fixed the area. And uh, this was all done in just a matter of seconds using Mario Baldi's uh, Edge Flow tool. I just really can praise it high enough. Seems like a really fantastic tool. And I want to send my uh, congratulations to him for, uh, for making a tool like this. I really appreciate it and uh, look forward to seeing what else you create. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. And I'll see you next time. Hey, that was pretty cool.